challenger. Come on. Kind of feel it's Alexandrova that's going to decide the outcome of this match. Either she's going to find enough winners from her racket or there's going to be too many of those and Pagula can capitalize. from Pagula left a couple of short and in the middle uh, then needs to start going more to the sides of the court when she has some time while the ball is still in play thank you came around the outside of that forehand a little bit more than she normally does and was able to get some angle on it Couple of the best points in succession that she's played for a while. Good use of the middle of the court from both players on the previous point until there was a bit of width. Here, Pagula set up Alexandrova beautifully with the wide serve to go back in behind her. Game on. I get the sense this is going to be a thrilling conclusion in this final set. Pagula leads 2-1. We just about to see a push here from Pagula. That uh, was a, a terrific hole to serve. Time to get to work on the returns. Uh, that's she's so deep in the court. You can see Pagula there, a good five feet behind the baseline. Rule number one: you've got to clear the net when you're that deep in the court. Can't get anything going there. Two uh, there was no way I was going to go home without watching this uh, Jessica Bagula and Alexandrova match. Uh, this is a quarterfinal uh, happening right now. It's four all in the third set as I sit down here. And the winner of this uh, goes on to play, I actually wrote this down this time, uh, Daniel Collins. And then, of course, um, the other semifinal tomorrow is Ro Bakana versus Azarenka. Of course, our beloved Iga Shviantek is out. She was knocked out by Alexandrova uh, pretty easily. I think it was uh, either yesterday or two days ago. Uh, things, So many things happening uh, over here uh, where I'm filming right now in Dallas, Texas, that it's hard to keep up. But um, the quarterfinals, the semis, and I can't wait to watch the finals. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, especially um, this weekend is East, Easter weekend. Uh, Jesus definitely has risen, and uh, he loves us so much. Um, I, I my 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 is going to be fantastic. Fully expect Carlos Alcaraz on the men's side, uh, to uh, win this one. I was looking at the men's draw as well, and that's been pretty fun. Um, if I had to guess, uh, I'll say, as I sit down here, it was four all between Alexandrova and Pagula. Um, I'm going to take Alexandrova on this one. That kind of breaks my heart that I'm saying that because I really really like Jessica. Pagula, but um, I don't think she's going to pull this one out. That would be my prediction. Uh, so if my prediction holds, it will be Alexandrova versus the very fiery, very feisty Daniel Collins. That'll be a good one. Um, but even if Jessica wins too, uh, that'll be a, a good one as well against Daniel Collins. That'll be really cool too. Daniel uh, Collins versus Jessica Pagula, an All-American uh, semifinal in that one. 
and then Azarenka from Belarus versus Robakina from Russia, but plays for Kazakhstan. Uh, so getting some athletes from all over the world, as usual, in these events. I still don't, still don't know officially. Please tell me in the comments. I still don't know officially where Iga Svantec is playing next. I was thinking maybe Madrid, uh, maybe Germany. Um, is she playing anywhere before Madrid? If she plays in Madrid, that kind of makes me sad because I don't think Madrid starts till like mid-April. Is it April 15th or April 26th when Madrid starts? Um, let me know on that. Is Madrid where she gets a Porsche when she wins? Because I always see, remember those matches where last year and the year before in 2022, uh, uh, Iga Svantec would win a tournament and then she would get a Porsche uh, at the end of the, the final um, I think the the last one she got, she played Sabalenka in the final and won, and then they got a Porsche. Um, so um, uh, let me know where Iga Svantec is playing next in the comments. I read all the comments uh, or DM me on Instagram. Um, and please subscribe uh, to Best Muscle Video on YouTube. Um, uh, like I said, it's pretty late at night right now, so um, didn't even have a chance to comb my hair. Just popped on the chair and and ready to go. Um, and what a wonderful event this has been. Uh, Miami Open is a, a important important tournament for the rankings and um, Sabalenka losing uh, in her second match in Miami Open is really gonna affect her rankings. Uh, her rankings are really gonna fall as far as trying to keep up with Iga Svantec. I'm sure Sabalenka has a goal to retain her world number one ranking, which she held for about a month or two last year before Iga Svantec took it back from her. Um, Coco Goff, uh, just reminiscing right now, Coco Goff, she played Maria Sakari or Sakari. I, I, and, um, uh, of course, Sakari won that one. Last night we had Sakari versus Robakina. Uh, Robakina won, uh, that in straight sets. Looked like it was going to go to a third, but I don't think it did. If memory serves me correctly, like I said, there's been so much happening high lately. It's hard to keep up. Um, Azarenka beat Putin Seva. Uh, in that power outage match, there was like a one hour delay where Hawkeye uh, stopped working. So they had to stop play, which is super weird. Um, you know, a player that I haven't really followed at all uh, during this tournament, I hate to admit that, is uh, Daniel Collins. And it's wonderful to see her in the semifinal. I haven't watched any of her matches. Uh, I've really been focusing on watching the Iga Svantec matches, of course, uh, which we cover so much with Iga. If you're watching in Poland right now, thank you so much. I uh, cannot wait for Svantec to be back on court. She is such a superstar. Um, and uh, let's see, Alan uh, Collins. Yeah, there were some surprises in this tournament. Um, uh, I think Sabalenka was a big surprise. There was some uh, some walkovers. Um, you know, Sakari, uh, Sakari, she only played. Um, I keep on saying Sakari, but I think it's Sakari. Uh, she only played uh, like three matches, I think. Uh, should have played four, but uh, one of the players she was playing it was a uh, had to quit uh, before the match started. Um, Emma Raducanu, she pulled out of this tournament before it even started. A lot of injuries with her. Um, Pagula beat Layla Fernandez. That was a um, kind of a slow going match, to be honest. But um, I am a big fan of Layla and definitely wanted to watch that one. It was sad to see her lose. Um, Pagula is such a class act and, and won that one. Um, really, it's been a wonderful event. I mean, uh, besides the power outage between Putin Seva and Azarenka, uh, other than that, um, it's been great. Really, uh, if you go back and look at that footage, um, Azarenka was really fired up during that power outage. She was not happy. But I think the umpires and, uh, and the, uh, people who run the tournament just do a fantastic job and kudos to them. Um, I saw, let's end, let's end with this. Um, let me know if I'm correct on this. Uh, I was reading, uh, and I, I'm, I'm late on this news, but I was reading uh, yesterday or a couple days ago that I think WTA finals in November are going to be in Saudi Arabia. Did I read that right? Um, that's an interesting one. Uh, fascinating how the very popular WTA finals, if you're a tennis fan, you are familiar with WTA finals. Um, it was a disaster last year in Mexico. I think the year before that, it was right here, uh, just 30 minutes from me in Fort Worth, Texas, which is a suburb of Dallas, basically. 
and um uh, it's going to be in Saudi Arabia I think like November 2nd to November 10th which that'll every year a uh, year goes by so quickly so before you know it it'll be November uh cold weather here in Texas um and uh yeah let me know if that's correct if, if it's Saudi Arabia Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Uh, we worked so hard. Um, definitely going to be watching the final, uh, whoever's going to be in it. Um, I think we're going to watch live um, Pagula or Alexandrova versus Daniel Collins. That'll be the evening match tomorrow. And I think that um, Robakana and Azarenka is the early match in the afternoon. So... Four women tomorrow. We're down to four. Um, I, as I talk here, as I sat down, it was four all between in the third set between Alexandrova and Pagula. So I don't know what the the, the score is now. But if my prediction is correct, and my prediction holds, uh, Alexandrova has won this, and she will play Daniel Collins. But we don't know that for a fact. That's just a prediction. Uh, please use the thanks button. I'll end on this. Please use the thanks button on the bottom right of the video player. Uh, so if you're watching on your phone, on your iPhone, your Android, or if you're on your computer right now, on your laptop, or on uh, your desktop, uh, there's, there's a thanks button. It just says the word thanks on the bottom right of the video player, and you click on that, and you can send me money that way. Uh, so you click on the word thanks, and you choose the amount you want to send. And uh, thank you so much for your support. I am so thankful and so grateful. I know that you have so many options on where you can watch your tennis, so if you're choosing best muscle video on youtube uh thank you so much and um once again here's my instagram uh please uh, uh dm me if you can uh, so i can say thank you and let me uh check the alexandrova and pagula match to see what's going on here uh i really am interested to see who won this one so talk to you guys later and i will see you soon bye